Welcome to a new episode of my GNU slash Linux and USB tutorials. In my last tutorial, I have implemented control transfers on this AppMega 32U4 USB device to control this 7 segment display. And I also wrote a small Python script to test the functionality. Today I will do the same thing again, but instead of using Python, I will use C and libusb1.0 to control this display here. So let's start. Here I am on my PC and now let me navigate into my USB tutorials folder and let's look at the content with ls. So you can see here I have added this 0 to user space application folder. So let me cd into it. And here I have created a Python folder and in this Python folder you can find the control transfer Python script from our last video. And for today I will create a new folder I will call C and let me go into it. Currently it's empty and in here I will implement my C application with libusb1.0 to control the two seven segment displays over my atmega32u4 USB device. So let's start. I will create a new um, file I will call controltransfer.c and first I will need some headers. So most of them are just the standard headers, so standard IO, standard lib, unix, standard and then I will include libusb1.0 libusb. This um, library should already come pre-installed on the system, but if not, what you can do is use your package manager and search for libusb1.0 and then you should be able to find the correct package. So here in my case it's this libusb1.0.26 and it's already installed on my system. Okay, so let's continue with our file here. So I am adding a main function here with two arguments. The first one is the number of arguments passed to the program and the second one is the list, a list of arguments passed to the function. Then I will need some variables. I need a status variable and I need a value variable. And from the type lib usb device handle I will create a pointer from the type device. So this is a struct we will use to um, communicate with our USB device here. Okay, now the first thing we have to do is we have to init the libusb1.0 and we can do this with the call libusb init and then we have to pass an argument. This is the context so the context can be used for showing more debugging or logging informations. I will pass null here to get the default logging information. If you want to tweak with it, there is a separate struct to set informations like the logging level, for example. But I will just go with null here. This should return zero on success. So in case um, it doesn't return zero, I will print out error in it libusb and I will return the negative status code here. Okay, now, and when we are doing an init, we also have to do an exit, so libusb exit, and once again, we have to pass the locking context here, and I will just set it to null, and I will return null here. Okay, so this is a minimal libusb, um, see example which does nothing but init the library and exit from the library. So now let's search for this device here. And initially I will set this device pointer to null. And for searching for devices I can use the function libusb open device with um, vendor id and product id. The first argument again is the context, then I have to pass in the um, 
the vendor ID, which is 3EB in my, for my device, and then the product ID, which is 1 for my device, in case the device is now. I will print out error, could not find USB device. And I will return with minus one here. Okay, and here we have open my device, so we have to close the device later. And we can do this with lib USB close, and here I just have to pass in our device pointer. Okay, and now let's do the control transfers. And I want to do it the following way. If we have passed an argument here, um, it will write out this argument to the device and then it will read back the current value of the second display. So if the argument count is greater than one, we have an argument available. And I will use the function string too long to convert it. Here we need the following arguments. The first one is the string we want to convert and this is the first argument passed with the script. Then the second um, argument is a pointer which will point to the first um, yeah to the first char in this string array which doesn't um, fit to the conven um, numbering conventions, for example, if we would type 1s, it would point to the s because s is the invalid character. And the last argument is how we want to convert it. So if we have a decimal value, I would pass a 10 here. If I have a hexadecimal value, I would point a 16, I would write a 16 here. But if I write a null here, it will detect it automatically. And this is what I want. Okay, now we can finally do the control transfer. Therefore, I will call lib usb control transfer. Okay, um, transfer. Yeah, here it is. It needs the following argument. The first one is the device to which we want to write. Then we have the BM request type, which is 40 in this case. Then we have the request or and for this stands for custom request. Then we have the request number, which is one. I have defined this in my firmware. The next one is the value. So we'll just pass the value here. Then um, we have an index, which is zero in my case. We have a data field, which is now. We have the length of the data, which is now two. And we have a timeout value in milliseconds and I will use 100 milliseconds here. So. And if this, this should return zero here to indicate it was successful. And this was writing to the seven segment display. Now let's implement reading from it. So therefore, um, I will use the same call here. So we want to write to the device. This time I will use um, C zero. This means custom request and direction is in. The request number is two now. The values I don't care here. The data will be, I want to write it to my value variable here. And maybe let's set value to zero up here. The length will be one because I want to read one byte and the timeout is 100 milliseconds. And in case status is not equal to one, so it should return a one here because we have read one byte. I will print out an error. Error could not read from USB device. Okay, and of course, here before returning, I have to close my device. And up here, I have to uninit the library. Okay. Yeah, and that's about it. Okay, oh, maybe I should print it out, but then that's about it. Current displayed value and this is value. Okay, so now let's try to compile this. I will use GCC, my input file is control transfer.c, my output file should be control transfer and then I will use lib usb minus 1.0 for compiling or it's just lusb 1.0. Let's compile it. 
okay here we have an error let's fix or a warning so let's fix it the problem is here it doesn't expect a pointer to int but a pointer to u to unsigned int 8 or to an unsigned char so if we build it now it works and now let's test the program i have to run it with root privileges so first let's just do a read i have to give it my password and say the current display value is zero this is correct now let's write um, d5 for example now you have seen the value changed to d5 and the current display value is now d5 so it seems this program works quite well okay so that's how to implement control transfers by using libusb 1.0 and c i hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something in case you want to support my work you can buy me a coffee on buymycoffee.com slash for linux so that's it for today thanks for watching and goodbye